Hey, this is Haplin, and in this module, I'm gonna show you how to set up the ad manager. This is a really big one, so we can actually launch, manage, and run Facebook campaigns, Instagram campaigns, and Google ad campaigns, all from inside of High Level. That's pretty crazy. All we gotta do is go to marketing, and then ad manager is up here in the top right. You will need to turn this feature on and it is a small added cost, but it is well worth it. Similarly, the first time you access this interface, you'll be instructed to integrate an ad manager account, both for Meta and for Google. But once there, we can create a campaign on either side Clicking next, we have templates on Meta and templates coming very soon for Google, but let's start with a template here. I'll just go with one free gym week. That seems pretty straightforward. Click continue, and now it's building my ad. So we can see the first main advantage of the ad manager inside of High Level is that it's simple and straightforward. A lot of businesses really struggle with trying to get into advertising because of how complicated these other platforms are, and High Level's done a lot of work to give you the best bang for your buck without wasting a ton of your time or paralyzing you with too many any choices. So we just go through the ad content, choose our page, we can connect Instagram as well. I'm not going to go super in depth on every single feature you can control in this video, but I am linking to a wonderful knowledge base article that will walk you through all that stuff in detail. It's super straightforward. Once you've got your ad content locked in, you just set your budget as well as dial in your audience. You can do this based on zip code, which makes a lot of sense for local, or you can target entire countries if you're doing digital. And then for the audience demographics, we can either target target interests, or we can create lookalike audiences or retarget people who have clicked on an ad in the past. Once that's done, we just review and publish and we're good to go. Personally, I am not going to publish this specific campaign right now anyway. The second advantage is statistics. We have a very simple interface for getting really good data on how much we're paying for each lead or per click, etc. Everything we could want to know is right here inside of High Level Now. And then thirdly, and this is maybe the most important, we can get better results running ads through High Level because because when we connect our ad accounts into high level, it makes it really easy to get really complicated data back into Facebook to optimize campaigns. All we do is go into automation and I'm in a different sub account that has the ad manager set up. So don't worry about all these different things. I'm going to start a new workflow from scratch. So first of all, just the fact that I'm running ads through high level makes it really easy to trigger workflows based on people engaging with those ads. So I have the trigger. Facebook lead form submitted. So now every lead who clicks on the ad straight into high level contact creation conversations, you should understand all of this and the implications of what it means to be able to run a workflow for a new lead by this point. But it gets even better than that because of this action that I'm about to show you. This is previously undiscussed, but it is called conversion API. So before you would have had to log into the meta account manager and go find all this information, copy and paste different IDs and keys and codes and stuff. Now we just click add manager we just set the pixel ID which you can set this up in ad manager settings as well so that's really straightforward inside of high level just select your ID define the stage name as in this case new lead when somebody fills out the lead form then they're a new lead right and then we hit save and now when this action runs high level is going to send the lead info back to Facebook to reinforce it saying hey this is somebody that did something that we liked in the system they're a new lead go find more people like this but okay I played a little bit of a trick on you because you might be thinking to yourself, well, Facebook already knows if its own lead form has been submitted, so it knows when it's generated a new lead, and it already does that, right? That's true to an extent, but now that High Level and Facebook are talking, we don't only need to apply this to new leads, we can apply it to any workflow trigger we want. So for example, let's get rid of this new lead triggers. Assume we have some other workflow that does the new lead stuff and it's you know like the ones we already have, right? But now let's say we're trying to book appointments and on appointment status in a particular calendar, we have, yeah, let's go with that. And now let's go into conversion API and let's change this. Let's go to appointment set. So now the stage name is appointment set. And every time somebody books an appointment in the calendar, this workflow fires and the conversion API triggers. I should note that with something like this, there will be leads coming in from other sources. If there's an organic lead or another lead that wasn't generated on Facebook, they will go through this workflow too. And it'll just skip the conversion API step. But for every lead that was generated from a Facebook ad or 
through Facebook, the system will detect that, the conversion API will fire, and now we're sending this beautiful data about appointments back to Facebook for it to optimize in the next campaign. And we don't need to be limited to just appointments either. We could do this with a tag being added, right? As simple as that or we could do it with a pipeline stage change so that when somebody gets to a certain point in the pipeline, we could even go back to our new sale workflow that we built earlier in this playbook and add a conversion API action step at that point. So now we're telling Facebook, hey, we wanna make sure that you know every time somebody comes through the pipeline and actually buys something because that's the thing that we wanna optimize for in the future. So what we're really talking about here is comparing an ad where we instruct Meta to just target Target people who are interested in fitness, let's say, versus instructing Meta to target people who are statistically likely to buy from us based on people who have already bought from us in the system. It's very cool. It's very powerful. It utilizes some pretty complex and sophisticated technology that in the past was not quite accessible for a beginner. There used to be a pretty high barrier to entry with this type of stuff, but high levels made things so easy that now even a beginner can launch and see great results with ads using the high level ad manager. And now that you know where to go to run high performing ads, you can go ahead and move on.